So ERLC added three new fire trucks in the latest update, and I'm going to be giving you guys a full guide of them to tell you what their top speed is, what their features are, and if you should buy them or not. But first, our 1,000 Robux giveaway for all subscribers is during part two of the summer update. So here we have the new heavy tanker. This is a level seven vehicle so you can unlock this with the captain rank or you can pay 120 robux so you can hear it has the same sirens as every other car and it looks pretty nice so it's basically just like the tanker that we already have but it's a bit like bigger and stuff like that so you can see it's nicely detailed there's the back there's the side and there is the front so i would definitely recommend this fire truck i might start using this fire truck whenever i start doing role plays and stuff like that and with a top speed of 103, this fire truck is surprisingly super slow. So overall, the truck's looks are good. It's good at capability since you can store water in the tank. And then its speed is pretty bad at going at 103. And then here we have the new FD mobile command. So of course, all of these trucks have the same sirens. Sadly, we did not get a new siren. So you can see this is just like the mobile command on the police team, but it has an FD livery. This car is also rank 8 for the Battalion Chief, or you can pay 145 Robux. So unlike the Mobile Command on the police team, there's not a side door, there's only a back door right over here. So this back door right here, it must be unfinished because you can't even open it up or go through it. This might have been a rushed car, and I would not recommend buying this. But I'm astounded because this vehicle goes 158 miles per hour, which is extremely fast. So overall, the vehicle doesn't look very well and you can't go inside it. It's not compatible with anything since you can't go inside it or use it as a fire truck, but its speed is pretty good. So with the River City Medical Support Unit Bus, this is $260,000. So this is pretty pricey, but this does open the door just like the new uh, bus that's on the transit team. And then inside, you can lay on every single one of these beds. Uh, so this is pretty cool. And then also the back door is just transparent so you can walk through it. So it does look pretty not detailed on the outside, but the inside is pretty cool. How this door opens and then you can go lay on any of these beds. Although I would only recommend this for role plays. And then again, we have some surprising speeds as this tops 140 miles per hour. So the outside might not look that good, but the inside, it looks really nice. So I gave it a seven. It's not that compatible, but you can sit on the beds inside and its speed is pretty high. So shout out to everybody who was in this video and helped me. So shout out to John and shout out to Ben and that one random person that I found in a public saver. So yeah, that is really all. If you guys do want some more helpful videos about the summer update, be sure to tell me in the comments and leave a like on the video. But that's all. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!